Hello everybody, I'm Tommy the Keyblade Master and this is my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something called a classic throwback review. In this review I throw this boomerang here and let it hit my collection and see what classic game it drags back for me to review. Let's see what I pull out today. Oh no, I didn't know a boomerang could be so devious. Now I'm going to have an 8-bit version of this song in my head all day. Thanks a lot. At least it shows a good game to review. Now, unlike a whole lot of other old school gamers, I'm not going to bore you with stories about how I loved this game as a kid, how it changed my life as a kid, blah 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 blah, because I didn't play it as a kid. I didn't play this game until my late 20s, and I still really enjoyed it. I didn't have to go back and think this game was released during a different time. I just enjoyed it. And to tell you the truth, I wasn't a big fan of the cartoon show when I was a kid. Don't get me wrong, it was not a bad show. I didn't hate it. I watched it if I was in the mood for an afternoon cartoon show, but I didn't make an appointment to watch it either. So anyways, let's sit down and let's go review DuckTales. True to most NES games of the era, there is no real narrative in DuckTales. Your basic premise of the game is to take Scrooge McDuck through all these stages that you choose, and beat a boss. During the stage, you try to grab as much loot as you can. There is a special ending if you get over ten million dollars, but it's not a big change. There are no in-game cutscenes in the middle of the stages or even after, so there is no real heavy emphasis on story. That said, Capcom did model the game off of a lot of episodes of DuckTales, which basically has Scrooge on treasure hunting adventures with the nephews and causing trouble. So it does get that part right, but don't go in expecting some huge narrative. For a game that is over 20 years old, the graphics in DuckTales really holds up really well. Take a look here. As you can see, this game heavily borrows off the Mega Man engine, and it looks a lot like it could be from Mega Man 3 or 4 in the way it looks. The characters are modeled well, they look like they're from a Disney cartoon, or at least if an 8-bit Disney cartoon, and it does the show really well. It has some very varied backgrounds. Um, if you're wondering why Scrooge has a red coat instead of his trademark blue from the show, I got two theories on that. Both of them could be true, and both of them could be full of crap. Number one, um, the original DuckTales was made based off a comic book from the 1950s. In that comic book, it had Scrooge, Donald Duck, and the three nephews doing basically what they do in DuckTales, looking for treasure. But Scrooge wore a red coat during a lot of these old comics, and I believe that's one of the reasons why he wears them now. Another reason why is that the NES wasn't exactly really great on some colors. So, you know, they might not have been able to do a dark blue jacket in front of a blue background for the sky, and red might have just worked out better. And since they had him in a red coat in a lot of the comics, it kind of just worked out well that way. Um, they fixed it in the new DuckTales remastered, and personally, the red coat doesn't bother me at all. What can I say about the music in this game? You've probably heard it overplayed on several YouTube videos before because the music is just awesome. And of course there is the moon theme, which is one of the best sci-fi themes on the NES. Um, best outside of the Guardian Legends, and you don't have to go through hell to listen to DuckTales like you do in the Guardian Legends. <laughs> Let's talk about the gameplay in DuckTales. Um, each game starts off with you choosing which level you want to go in front of those huge computers that Scrooge has. From there, you have to grab as much loot as you can find in the stage and beat the boss for a treasure item to end the stage. It's pretty simple platforming. What's new here is that Scrooge has his pogo stick and that can get you over many obstacles and using it is a lot of fun. We're talking about enemy heads, treasure chests, tricky pits, and even spikes. And then you can add in some top-notch stage design to that too. 
Each stage is kind of designed as a mini labyrinth. They're not too hard to figure out, and they're not super huge. But they do have multiple ways through and a few dead ends. But each dead end oftentimes has loots, and there's plenty of secret areas to find. And not all health power-ups are money and score. Some of them do give you invincibility or increase your health or the total amount of health you can store. So, you know, it's good to check out these secret locations, and there's plenty of them. Overall, the game's just a blast to play. Um, if I have one complaint about the game would be the bosses are just a little bit too simple even by NES standard. Uh, the bosses are just a bit on the easy side. They're simple pattern recognition. And once you figure out their pattern, you'll know when to stomp on them. And finishing them off is pretty easy because there's only like two or three different moves they do. Um, DuckTales Remaster does fix this, and I'll get into the remaster one in a minute. I want to give DuckTales... Uh, for the NES, a 5 out of 5. It's a pretty good game. It's pretty easy, but it's not dumbed down easy. It just feels good. The controls are solid. It has some pretty clever level design with its maze-like stages and all the loot and secrets you can collect. You don't have to collect those loots. You can actually speedrun this game in less than 10 minutes. And it's just a blast to play because it's pretty open on how you play through it with the stage select and the multiple paths through the stage. So it's a real blast. If you have an NES, pick this game up. Will it come to the Wii's virtual console? The answer is no. And that is because on the Wii U, we have DuckTales Remastered. Now, I mentioned this game a few times during my review. It's a high-definition remake of the original game. And Way Forward pulled out all the stops. They got in some of the old voice actors from the show, including the original Scrooge McDuck here, whose voice actor is well into his 90s, and he just hits it out of the park as Scrooge McDuck even in this game. And it really does feel like an old episode of the series. And that's where its weakness is, where the original game, it's pick your path and find the secrets if you want to. In this game, it's all laid out for you, and you have to go down pretty much every path to find these items you'll need to unlock the boss room. And there's usually a heavy amount of exposition to tell you why you're doing this. Now, it does seem like an old episode of DuckTales, and I do like that. However, at the same time, it just seems to slow down the game, and all the extra padding from this unneeded item collection really just seems to make the game a little bit of a trudge. Don't get me wrong, DuckTales Remastered is a great remake. I hope Way Forward, Capcom, and Disney can get together and produce more NES Disney games like Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. They did a fantastic job on this one. But I'm giving the NES one a 5. I would give DuckTales Remastered probably a 4.5. Still a great game. Still worth downloading. Just not as good as the NES one. But I'll nitpick the heck out of that one later. Um, it does have a few other things that are nice. The boss fights are nice. It's also a tad bit a little bit more fair. Uh, one of the things I got angry about was the GameSpot review, which was trolling me game and I don't like that when reviewers troll and obviously take issue with the fact that the game is old school. But anyways, the game reviewer decided to give it an incredibly low score because Game Over sends you back to the beginning of the stage, which is pretty normal for most old school games. I would also, however, like to inform this person that the original NES version of DuckTales did not send you back to the beginning of the stage when you got a Game Over. It sent you clear back to the title screen, which meant you played the whole game over again from the very beginning. It didn't matter if you were on the final hit of the last boss, game over sent you clear back to the beginning. And that's just how games were back then. The game is short. I think WayForward did a good job overall with trying to update some of the old school flaws, and it's a remastered game that should be appreciated by pretty much everybody who likes old school platformers.